it's in your packet. It's page five. It's got all the word problems. It's behind the page you were just supposed to show me. It's inside your giant packet. It's behind the page you were just supposed to show me. If you will, and you have your testimony, if you'll put it down and let me go over this for like five minutes top, then I will gladly help you with what you need. But if you're working on your test while I'm trying to talk, then when you ask me a question, I'm not going to answer you. Okay, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> okay, we are goodness. We are done in some ways and not in others. So the good news is I've already got your math workshop test graded and I can give it back to you. I do not have your 3 1 test graded. Uh, I know some people finished yesterday. I'm actually going to give you a chance to correct things in a few minutes today because we would like for it to be perfect. Because this is our last 60% grade for this nine weeks, so we would like for it to be perfect. And then as a reminder, I haven't erased the checkpoint from 3-1. Did you show me what we're counting as a study guide? Did you show me your workbook stuff? Um, ben was just trying to show me his workbook stuff. So when I get done rambling, if he'll come show me again, I'll actually write it down and fix that zero. Because yes, I already typed in a zero for it because it's the end of the nine weeks and we've got to get it together. Oh, goodness. Okay, so what we're going to do is system of equations word problems today. And actually, so these still require substitution, elimination, or graphing. It's your choice now. You get to pick. I was just talking to Ontarius about how much I love elimination. So 99% of the time, I choose elimination. Okay, uh, while we're going to set these up, we're not going to solve because, let's face it, you already know how to solve. You do have some problems that are going to be your homework. They are in pink, and I was wrong. Sorry, Arturo. Uh, number one, if you want to circle them, they're your homework. Number one, number three, number nine, and number 12 are going to be yours. And they're written on the board behind Dr. Terry's head at the very bottom. I also wrote a note for Gracie to realize this is going to be our first grade for the next nine weeks. I'm not putting anything else beyond good grading, beyond yesterday's 3-1 test and all the stuff already listed. So we're going to count this homework grade as the first grade of the next nine weeks. So our Shiro would like to get it done. He would like to start our second nine weeks with 100. That would be the goal. Okay, so even though I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to set up the two systems, I need you to not be lazy and actually solve. So for our Shiro to get credit for his homework, he has to solve. Does everyone understand? Okay, is there really room on here for our Shiro to do much at all? No. no. So Arturo is going to need to do some of this on his own paper. Does he have to write the problem again and all that? No. But he's going to have to do math on his own paper because he does not write that tiny. No one does. Okay. Let's do, we're going to do number two. And lo and behold, it actually has someone in the class in it. Ha ha. So the school that Eduardo goes to is selling tickets to the annual talent show. On the first day of the ticket sales, the school sold eight senior citizen tickets and seven child tickets for a total of 131. The school took $116 on the second day by selling eight senior citizen tickets and four child tickets. Find the price of a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. Okay, so we've got two variables, senior citizen ticket, child ticket. Um, and we've got two equations because they did these sales on two different days. So for my first equation... I'm going to do 8S, S for senior citizen, because it said 8 senior, and then I'm going to do 7C, C for child, 8 senior, 7 child, for a total of 131. I'm not going to bother to put the dollar sign. So I have 8S plus 7C equals 131. On the next day, it's 8 seniors for a child. And the price was 116. Does everyone understand how I got my two equations? Okay, you would like me to pass out number strips so you can get you some points today. That would be nice. Uh, for your first point, which I'll have to keep up with to have second while you get strips passed out. What would be the easiest method? Easy, good grief. Easiest method to solve these two equations? Elimination, why? Yeah, so elimination would be easiest for this one. If we multiply this one of those lines by a negative 8, everybody would, all the eights, the S's would die, and we would only have C's left, and it would be easy to solve. Perfect. Again, I'm not going to solve them, but on the floor I'm giving you for homework, I need you to solve still. 
Okay, let's go to number four. Let's set it up to. It says, and we're not doing workshop today. Number four says, Bill and Ashley each improve their yards by planting day lilies and ornamental grass. They bought their supplies from the same store. Bill spent $27 on one day lily and four bunches of ornamental grass. Ashley spent $36 on four day lilies and four bunches of ornamental glass. What is the cost of one day lily and the cost of one bunch of ornamental glass? Okay, so can someone help me set up my first equation with Bill's numbers? 1D plus Y. Equals what? 27. Perfect. Your group gets a point. He said 1D for daily. He went with B for bunches. Like we could have gone G for grass. Doesn't matter. And he spent $27. Perfect. There's Bill's equation. Can someone help me with Ashley's equation? Um, 4D plus... Eighty-eight. Yeah, it's it's set. Oh, all right, thirty-six hundred. Okay, perfect. You can have a point for that. Okay, Miss Compton loves elimination. So when I write down my equations, I tend to automatically set them up for elimination. I think this is another elimination one, and it would be super easy to solve for which variable, D or B. Group 6 gets another point. B, because all we got to do is change the signs. If we just make this top one negative, the Bs would die off, and we immediately know the daily cost. Okay, are there any questions about this? So, yay, finally, elimination substitution graphing, useful in real life. Okay, so let's go to number... Let's not do number 6. Let's go to number 7. Although, if you think I know how to say that N-word, I don't. Norca? Norchi? Narachi. Narachi. I like it. Adam and Narachi are selling pies for a school, fun school fundraiser. Customers can buy blueberry pies and lemon meringue pies. Adam sold six blueberries and eight lemon meringue pies for a total of $100. Narachi sold three blueberry and five lemon meringue for a total of 58 Find the cost of one blueberry pie and one lemon meringue pie. So I want to tell me Adam's equation. Uh, yes. Okay, please do. 3x plus 2 equals 7. Oh, okay. Plus 3. 3. Oh, Okay. 6B. Okay, I like it. 6B plus what page? 8M. She went and you know why? And that was genius of her. If we choose L and sort of looks like a 1, and we start getting confused. So maybe it is best to put M for meringue rather than L for lemon. That's a good point. And then it equals what, ma'am? Um, mm hmm So we've got Adam's equation. What is Narachi's equation? You can have a point to that page. Perfect. And you're going to have another point. What method would be easiest to use here? Elimination, substitution, graphing. I'm telling you elimination every single time. I want to eliminate the B's. What should I multiply that bottom equation by? Negative 2. Kelsey, you get the point. If we multiply by negative 2, then we're going to end up having 6B plus 8M equals 100. Negative 6B minus 10M equals negative 16. And the B's end up die. It's lovely because the bees die. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. Okay, we're going to do... Okay, we're going to do two more. Actually, no, let's just do one more. I believe you're getting the hang of this, so we won't do eight. Let's go to number... 15. That's the only one that's not set up just, just so for us. The others kind of spell it out. So 15 says, a plane traveled 836 miles each way to Helsinki and back. The trip there was with the wind. It took 11 hours. The trip back was into the wind. The trip back took 19 hours. Find the speed of the plane and still air in the speed of the wind. Is this one as easy as the others? No. No. 15. 15. 
Okay, so let's let's talk about this again. There have got to be two variables, and then I at least see two numbers. What two numbers do you see besides the 836? 11 and 19 match. So when I make my two equations, I'm going to make my top one equal to 11 and my second one equal to 19. I know that much. Okay, but the first one's talking about my trip was with the wind. My trip was with the wind. So I'm going to do T for trip, and then should I do... And I'm going to do W for wind. So should I do T plus W or T minus W or T times W? T minus w. It was with the wind. You're using the wind. So plus the wind. So I'm going to do T plus W equals my 11. The trip back took 11 hours. And the trip back was into the wind. So I was. At, I think it's the trip, but I was with the wind. I have to subtract the wind. The wind was against me. And this one's super nice because, my gosh, we can solve it. If we, The hardest part was setting this up. Now the answer just pops out. 2t equals 30. t equals 15. So this my plane was in the still air, 15, 15 miles per hour. And then it asks for the wind if we plug that back in. So we've got our, we've got our t. We plug that back in. So it was t plus w plus w equals 11. I just found out T is 15, so 15 plus W equals 11, so W equals negative 4. But that's okay, because I know normally we're like, negative's not okay, especially when we're talking miles per hour, but I mean, the wind could be affecting you negatively that many miles per hour. I don't know about you, but on a really windy day, the wind does slow down my speed, so I'm not going to argue with it. Most of the, the ones you have to do that are circled in pink are not near this complicated. Because if you look at yours, you have another Nuarachi and he's buying some rose bushes. You have one about they're selling some more tickets, one about some vans and buses. All of yours are simple and not like 15. 15 is a pain. Okay, are there any questions about how to, besides 15, are there any questions about how to set up these two equations? So, yay, systems of equations are useful in real life if we were to take the time to write out a problem like this. There's always an if. Okay. If you finished all your things, and as long as you're quiet, I'm not going to bother you. Before the love, have you shown me your checkpoint, your notes, and your workbook pages? And before you walk up here and show me those things, let me pass out the test to those who weren't done, and even those who thought they were done because they were not